Robert, thank you. New Mexico State and New Mexico renew their rivalry on the football field tonight in Albuquerque. It is the first large sporting event since a deadly shooting last November involving a former NMSU men's basketball player. Now both sides hope this year's game can be a step forward from that tragedy. KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver is in Albuquerque with more. Colin. Yeah, Natasha, and I think our viewers will also obviously remember that the precursor to that shooting was a fight at the UNM NMSU football game last October between members of the men's basketball team at New Mexico State and students at UNM, and then of course uh, flared up in a shooting November 19th of last year here in Albuquerque, the night that they were supposed to play uh, a game at the pit, those two schools. So they canceled all of the basketball games last year. Again, like you said, this is the first big sporting event uh, between the two sides since that event. They played on the baseball field, the softball field, they played a women's basketball game, but this really the first massive sporting event for the state. Over 30,000 people are expected here at University Stadium in Albuquerque tonight to watch the Aggies and the Lobos play against each other. And uh, Eddie Nunez, the athletic director for University of New Mexico, said earlier this week they will be bringing in added security and added police presence tonight to just ensure that nothing like last year uh, happens here at this game. We certainly saw that when we were driving into the stadium. It took a little bit longer than uh, we're accustomed to for games here in the uh, Borderland region. Region, but for both these schools, they're hoping that this can be a little bit of an olive branch, a, a way to put last year in the past. Of course, the rivalry will always be strong. They want to win on the field, but they want to ensure that it does stay on the field this time. I think we really respect their program, Danny Gonzalez. Um, you know, while I know he wants to beat us and we want to beat them, I know he's got a really good relationship with Coach Kill. When both coaches um, respect each other and have a relationship that it's a great start to have a good, solid, competitive game. We got two f very passionate fan bases that love their sport, their teams. They love going and cheering on uh, the Lobos and the Aggies. And for us, it's about having an event that we're all proud of at the end of the day. When it comes to the overall event, it's we're doing it and we're doing it at the best of our ability. Kickoff for this game set for 6 p.m. at University Stadium in Albuquerque. You know, coming up later in sports, obviously, the other big story surrounding New Mexico State football this week has been the status of Jerry Kill. He missed the first couple of days of practice this week for what the school said uh, was under the weather, saying he was under the weather, Jerry Kill. I did see him earlier uh, today when I, we arrived at the stadium. We'll kind of give an update on his status and what to expect from this edition of the Rio Grande rivalry. That's later in sports. Natasia, back to you.